<laughs> this guy's toast. And finally, we have the Druid. Druid. Yay. We're gonna have uh, quite a lot of five star cards. Chat, get ready. I'm a five star man. The golden god. Okay. Here we go. Biology project. One mana, each player gains two mana crystal. Well, wow. one advantage Druid has is that they're Druid. Which means they get access to Nourish, Ultimate Infestation, and Juicy Psych Melon, and your opponents don't. That's gonna be a 5 for me. Alright, next. Landscaping. Okay, I mean the tree and package might be debatable. Let's skip the tree and package for now. Juicy Psych Melon. Juicy, juicy. This looks pretty juicy to me. I would put this in my mouth and suck on the juices it secretes. Seven drops. Azelina. Eight drops. Togwaggle. Nine drops. Master Oak card. Ten drops. Mechathune. Eh, it's actually not too much good stuff. But Big Druid. Eight drop. Lich King. 9 mana, Ysera, Hadronox, what do, what people get Malagos on 9 drop too? Yep. Uh, 10 drops, what do people get on 10? Yeah, you probably don't even need anything on 10. You're already happy with the Malagos on 9. That's juicy. It's not going to be in every Druid deck, of course, but in all the combo decks. This is going to push... In the wild, Aviana Coon to the top. Great synergy with Doll Macedorian. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Oh, look. 7 mana 4 4. At the end of your turn, reduce the cost of a random minion in your hand by 7. Do I want a 2 mana Malagum? Yes, and you might be thinking, oh my god, my opponent played a Dream Petal Flores, this is so bad. That's not the end of it. This ability triggers every single turn. So not only are you freaking out, holy crap, he's gonna Malagos me, he's gonna Malagos me. Oh, by the way, kill that 4-4 too, because if you don't kill it, that Malagos is gonna become 0 mana. Or it's going to reduce the cost of another minion in his hand. Like, it's not a one-time thing, right? It's constantly happening. <sighs> hmm. Let's take a moment. Is this a situation where everyone think one card is going to be OP? And then turns out no. Remember Trogzor? I don't want another Trogzor situation. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's take a moment and not rush to conclusion. Maybe Druid is bad. Who would you want to hit Dream Petal Florist on? No, it's good, it's good. Only because Psych Melon also draws you the Floris, which then draws you the Malagos. So you can instantly get the two combos you want. Nah, never mind. It's good. I will put this a little lower than uh, these two, though. Floppadina's Floop. Oh, this is in your hand. This is a 3-4 copy of the last one you played. I think the combo potential with Hadronox and Malagos is good too. Would you play this with anything else? 
potentially O card if you didn't hit the right pieces. Malagos, Hadronox, potentially Lich King. Combo potential, way too high. I like it. Ooh, right. Floop's glorious gloop, though. This is more debatable. Toast, does it last past one turn? Yep. Oh, the effect is constant. Flops, floopy dinas, floop. Floop, wait. F floops, glorious gloop. Good with token slash treant. But I think the setup, I mean, you might get a case where you swipe your opponent's board full of silver hand recruits and you get your four mana back. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I think this is one of the rare bad druid cards. Scoop the poop. I know a lot of you guys think it's great with token, but a token druid is not interested in trading off his own minions. Like, you don't want to trade off your minions as token druid. You want your uh, tokens to survive. And if you do have a full board, like a lot of minions, would you rather turn them into mana or would you rather savage draw, savage draw, and deal a billion damage? I think it's trash. I think it's T rash. It does have synergy with. Um, Did anyone catch the interaction with living mana? Because you can't innovate out living mana and get the bonus treant. I assume it's the same as Floop's glorious gloop. Nah. Book it now, chat. This card is garbage. Gar. Bitch. Anyone who agrees, type Toasty G. Everyone who disagrees, type Toasty A. I think most people agree with me. Uh, Gloop Sprayer. Best case scenario, you hit this with the Dream Petal Florist. Now it's a one mana Gloop Sprayer. What's your combo? You don't really have a combo. This card sucks. I revealed it. It has a special place in my heart, but it's garbage. Blizzard, why you punish me? I put so much effort into the card reveal to make it entertaining. But it's garbage. It's garbage. Yeah, it's pretty bad. There's much better things you can do as a druid. Hmm. Treant synergy cards. Landscaping is summon two 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 treants. Tells it's because you broke the game too often. That is true. Um 
ever since the exploit and the video follow up, my relationship with Blizzard has been a bit frosty. And now that Ben Brode's gone, it's gotten frostier. But Chad, you know, I had to do it to them. I had to do it to them. Okay, let's look at these bad boys. What was the exploit? Oh, um, you disconnect your opponent from the game and you get a free win. You know, I had to do it to them. Uh, <laughs> I like a Mouch Muncher. The potential for zero mana AA rush mechs are really nice. But you need like 10 dead treants. Would this have a place in living mana? Does this have to be in your hand? No. It's um, dead treants the entire game. So, solve the forest. What would you cut? Living mana doesn't summon treants. Yes, it does. What would you cut from token druid? Like the current iteration of token druid with whispering woods and solve the forest. Toast, living mana doesn't work with this card. Yes, it does. Um, what would you cut? Arcane Tyrants? I mean, it could be a straight up better Arcane Tyrant if the reduction is enough, but 10 Treants is still a lot. Hmm. Violet Teacher? Toast, does it cost 10 when in the deck to be drawn by Melon or less and not drawn? It will cost 10 in the deck. If it works like the giant cards. You wouldn't run uh, Juicy Melon with Mulch Muncher anyway. Because you don't have a 7, 8, 9 drop. You might have a 10 drop. I don't know. I think this is crap. I think this is crap. I think this is... Good effect, nice battle, nice choose one, both options are good. It's over costed though, 6 mana 3, 4 is a lot. So I want to say crap. Did someone 2 tree in? No, it's really expensive. It's just a little too expensive for my taste. Crazy good with Fandral, but it's Mulch Muncher. What do you think, chat? Good or bad? You can't underestimate cost reduction, especially on a big booty. And this is a big booty. This is a real big booty. Tills, would you play this over Sea Giant? Well, Sea Giant doesn't have rush. That's a good point. It's a Sea Giant's a cheap A8 as well. And token droids don't run Sea Giants right now. Despite it probably costing like three mana when they drop it. Two rounds of Soul of the Forest in current iteration of Token Druid means you can get this too cheap. It's just that um Soul of the Forest is the only way to summon treants right now. Unless you make more changes. Uh, I would... I'd say there's not enough tree and synergy to justify a mulch muncher. Force of nature. They should have made force of nature rush. That would be much better. Right now the force of nature... Wait, does force of nature have rush? No, they don't. They changed it. They used to have charge. Okay, so that's where I stand. I think uh, Ramp, Druid, Big Druid, OTK Druid, Taunt Druid all got a huge bonus. With uh, Psych Melon, Flavidina's Biology Project, and Dream Petal Florist. I think the tree and stuff is not enough to put a deck together. And I don't believe Floop's Glorious Gloop would be good.
Hey, lights out.